Welcome to the Vickers Tactical Channel. I'm Larry Vickers and I'm sitting here with my buddy Mike Fisher and we are in the Czech Republic at Seller & Balot, ammunition manufacturer. Mike, good to see you. Yes, thank you for making the trip over here. We've been wanting to do this for a while. Yeah, we have. It's been approximately a year. We uh, talked to Chacho Show and finally made it happen. Excellent. Assume the people at home really know nothing about S&B. You want to take them through what makes this company unique? Sure, sure. We're, uh, we're located about uh, 45 minutes outside of Prague, a small town called Vlachim, Czech Republic. Uh, we've been here since 1825 on uh, 370 acres, so it's a, it's a significant facility, uh, largest employer in this, in this region, so it's uh, a lot of connection to the community, um, the largest employer in the area. Good deal. Now, you mentioned something to me before we started filming that really sets S&B apart from a lot of other manufacturers. In terms of you guys make everything in house, including primers. We do, we do. We, uh, we pride ourselves uh, on the fact that we, uh, we start with raw, raw materials and we produce everything in house here, including the primers, which is what we feel differentiates us from a lot of the other companies in the business. Uh, it's a real tier one type operation that makes their own primers. That's the, the most challenging part of the uh, ammunition production. How much ammo do you guys put out a day? It's about three million rounds a day, uh, pistol and rifle. There's a little bit of shot shell, a little bit of rim fire, but mainly pistol and rifle. Now that's, that's a lot. If I have to ask, what's the mix between that goes to civilian versus law enforcement and military? It's about 60% uh, civilian and then 40% uh, uh, law enforcement, government type contracts. Uh, Czech Republic's been a member of NATO since 1999 and uh, after that, uh, that membership uh, status uh, really uh, increased the business globally uh, in our, our military side. And then export percent, how many different countries do you guys send ammo out to? Uh, we export about 90% of our production to uh, 70 different countries around the world. Cool. Yeah. Now, I got to ask, how many different calibers you guys load? So it can vary a little bit, uh, but generally it's 71 different calibers that we catalog. Uh, we do a few things on special runs and contract basis, but 71. So if I had, and once again, I think I know the answer here, but the two most common calibers, rifle, pistol? Yeah, nine millimeter on the pistol side, 5.56 five, on the rifle side. Uh, they both continue to grow. I see that everywhere I go when I'm doing training classes. Yeah. It doesn't matter, United States, overseas, or whatever. Those two calibers absolutely dominate. Yeah, I, obviously, United States law enforcement is trending back towards uh, nine millimeter, mm -hmm. and the um, you know, civilian market follows that law enforcement side. Now, coming in here, I was impressed on how modern the facility looked. It is. It's a great combination of uh, old world craftsmanship, history that we've got, and then modern manufacturing techniques. We've put uh, approximately $200 million into the business over the last 10 years. And uh, as you'll see shortly, uh, there's, uh, there's some real, real serious technology going on here. Now, another thing I got to ask you, I see this everywhere I go in the small arms industry, and it doesn't matter. All serious manufacturers, they have to modify equipment they get brought in to meet their needs. The tooling, whatever it may be, they get a piece of machinery in and then they tweak it for what they need because it's a specialized business in terms of manufacturing small arms and I would assume ammunition. Correct. The, the general process is similar from manufacturer to manufacturer, but everyone does it just a little bit differently. Uh, S&B is focused on high volume, very high quality uh, law enforcement military calibers generally, and so we've tailored all of our machinery in-house to meet those needs. So uh, presses, technology, dyes, quality control, generally produced in-house. And then what do you got planned for us now? So uh, we're going to uh, look at the entire facility, but, uh, but take you through the production process from raw materials to finished product. Good deal. Let's yeah. do it. Good deal. Thanks. All right, Mike. So the first step, what are we looking at here? So this is our uh, raw material storage area. So uh, this is where the entire process really starts. All the raw materials that you guys need to manufacture ammunition 
Yes, start the process for uh, cups, cases, primer production. And I imagine you'd QC the stuff before it ever hits we production do. floor. We do. Uh, everything is monitored through the process to control the quality. So I can see you guys got a fair amount. So you have some for future production. We do. You know, we're producing three million rounds a day. So it's got to support that capacity. But got it. Uh, this is where all the, the uh, raw materials will come in for cups, cases. And what's next? Where does this stuff go after this? This will go to the uh, production area where we'll uh, start the cups, cases, and primers. Okay, let's check it out. All right. All right, Mike, so what, what do we got going on here? So this is our, our newest facility, our newest loading hall that is our most efficient setup for case production over here, starting with cups, moving through the process to a loadable case. Projectiles along this far wall, in between primers we come into the equation as well, and then quality control steps along the way. So basically, the raw materials come in here, and when they go out out the back door, it's loaded ammunition. It's ready to be loaded, correct. Loaded okay. and packed. Yes, and this exactly. is where this is where everything comes together. Correct, correct. This will produce about three million rounds a day of rifle and pistol. And then quality control, I, where does that come into the equation? So along every one of these steps, we've got both manual, uh, human interaction and inspection, and then visual electronic, whether it's weights and measurements, uh, optical inspection, a variety of processes. Got it. Now what do we do next? Where are we going next? So we will go and, uh, and look at how everything is finally packaged after the loading process. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Mike, what do we got here? So this is, uh, this is our state-of-the-art warehousing and shipping facility. So behind us, we've got uh, a high-volume uh, racking system, uh, picking system that'll hold up to uh, 3,500 pallets, um, everything we make basically. Uh, comes through this conveyor belt area, and the guys can ship up to 50 pallets per hour, which is, is really moving. Wow. Now, yeah. everything's here, law enforcement, military, civilian It is. Animal. Everything ships through this area right here. It's uh, incredibly efficient. Um, they, they handle everything right here. How long has this been running? Uh, it's been going a year now. And so it uh, handles all, uh, all the shipping for 70 different countries. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we hit raw materials, and then we went over to production. Yes. And now we're here at warehousing. Correct. So I'd imagine this kind of closes the loop for S&B. More or less on the ammunition side, we've got one more thing we'd like to show you, but uh, this is it as far as the ammunition goes. Cool, let's yeah. check it out. Good deal, thanks. All right, Larry, so this is, uh, this is kind of the traditional last stop on our tour of the facility. Uh, this is our game preserve. It's been here since the early 1700s, um, but uh, we've got a herd uh, of, of red stag and fallow deer, which happen yeah, to make an appearance. Right. Yeah, 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 but this is uh, approximately 200 acres at the back of the uh, factory property. Now, it was here before s &B. It was, yeah. Yeah, this predates s and but uh, we've kept it uh, as a dedicated part of the uh, factory property. You guys ever hunt here? Very, very infrequently. We take a few head of game every year, more to control the herd size and all, but it's, it's really set up as a preserve area. Yeah. Well, you know, interestingly enough, like I, we were talking about before, this is the first ammunition manufacturer, major ammunition right, manufacturer right. That I've ever attended. Yeah, that surprised me with your history and all, but uh, we're glad to have you and uh, appreciate you making the trip. Hey man, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you much. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. LAV, Mike from the Czech Republic. Have a good one.